There are two situations where a flap lift in a patient with a camera inlay may need to be performed. Firstly, the patient where the inlay is perfectly centered but where the refractive outcome needs to be enhanced with further laser surgery. And secondly, where the refractive outcome is fine but the inlay needs repositioning. When the inlay position needs to be maintained but only a refractive enhancement performed to achieve the desired refractive outcome, it is ideal to lift the flap and have the inlay stick to the flap. Mark the flap surface with a reference ink mark in the center of the inlay in case the inlay moves. Then start the flap dissection by dissecting the flap edge all the way around so that the inlay remains as a small island in the center of the flap. Make sure to free the flap adjacent to the hinge too. Grasp the inferior edge of the flap with the forceps and lift the flap back in such a way as to encourage the inlay to remain adhered to the flap by keeping it vertical as the flap over the inlay detaches from the corneal stroma. Once completely detached, place the flap onto the globe without folding the flap on itself. One can see the ink mark in the center of the inlay from the underside. Ensure the bed is dry and that there is no debris on the stromal surface. It is interesting to note that the eye tracker does not track the inlay but rather the pupil as it should. The enhancement is performed and the flap now needs to be replaced. BSS is applied sparingly at the flap hinge and the flap gently reflected onto the stroma. To ensure that the inlay does not detach, the flap is held vertically, encouraging the inlay to remain stuck to it. Once the flap is in place, it is managed as usual. In eyes where the inlay needs to be repositioned, the inlay needs to detach from the flap and remain on the stromal surface. Mark the position on the flap where the inlay should be centered. Then start the flap dissection by dissecting the flap edge all the way around so that the inlay remains as a small island in the center of the flap. Ensure that the flap is detached from the stroma everywhere bar over the inlay itself. Grasp the flap edge inferiorly with the forceps and bring the flap back quite forcefully and with an acute angle formed between detached flap and cornea. This encourages the inlay to detach from the flap and remain on the stroma as the flap comes free over it. A drop of BSS is placed on the inlay to free it from the stromal surface. Knowing how the inlay needs to be moved both in terms of distance and direction, find a landmark on the stroma to help with this maneuver. Gently push it to the required position after ensuring that the inlay is wet and can move. Now using a minimal BSS so as not to disturb the new position of the inlay, gently replace the flap. Ensure that the inlay is well positioned in terms of the corneal surface ink mark and manage the flap further as per the norm.